Howdy, y'all. Got the bulldog on the channel. Uh, another one of those days. It's not as bad as yesterday, but it was still stressful. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how things can get really tense, really fast because of a simple misunderstanding. And then sometimes uh, the misunderstanding is, I don't know, it's hard to say that it was blatant, but it is way off. How in the world could that be misunderstood? Uh, the one that I was talking about yesterday, they came and got it. We didn't do any work to it except for diagnostic because it was going to be too high, too much, you know. And, okay, let it go. And We had gotten more of the story. Uh, the previous owner talked to us, and he told us that this is a Ford F-150, and he had taken it to the Ford dealership, and they refused to work on it. They said that we won't touch those. Uh, I, I can believe that with that truck, with that kind of truck, even the, the application is one of those, it's a nightmare. But, you know, the, the, the whole situation wasn't very good, and I still don't think they really know why it's an issue. Yeah. Anyway, it's gone. And we're kind of fine with that. Uh, some of the stuff had already been done to it, and we look at it, and yeah, we don't want any and all any association with that uh, kind of repair, because we were going to have to really finagle to make something hold again. It was all held together with zip ties, which if you're just trying to hold like a wiring harness to the frame, yeah, that's okay. But when you're trying to keep the fuel lines from blowing off, let's not use a zip tie. Well, they didn't use a zip tie. They used several zip ties. Anyway, they had another vehicle here at the same time, and it... I sent a message to my boss as soon as they came in because, and there was just one of them, not the whole committee, uh, the actual owner of that car. And I sent him a message because he had just gone up to lunch and, you know, they're here. And I was trying to explain to this person what was wrong. I thought I'd gotten it through, you know, there's a belt, they have a new AC pump on it, and the AC pump pulley is narrower than the old one. Still the same number of grooves, but the pump pulley is narrower, so the belt is domed or concaved. The belt doesn't fit. Uh, and like you try si trying to shove a size 12 into a size 10 shoe, doesn't work. Well, their belt was all wrapped up around the edge and fraying and coming apart because of it. And I kept explaining that the belt is coming apart. The pulley is wrong. Okay, so I need a new belt. Well, yeah, you need a new belt, but the belt is going bad because of this pulley being wrong. Okay, so I have the wrong belt. No. It's not the belt that's wrong, it's this one pulley. All the other pulleys are the right width, they're all original, the other pulleys are fine, this one pulley is wrong. It is the wrong pulley for your car. I don't know what it fits. I don't know if it was supposed to fit this and they tried to put it on there. It's wrong. Well, so-and-so did the work and they had me buy an entire kit instead of just the pulley that I needed. Okay. Uh, that's normal, actually. 
it's hard to get that part anymore. They don't want to sell just the part and repair what you have. They want to sell you the whole thing. It's cheaper to sell you the whole pump rather than just a pulley. The pulley has a bearing inside of it, so it spins most some of the time and it engages and runs complete some of the time. That's why you need a pulley and the bearing inside of it goes bad. Well, anyway, I talked to the person for oh, 10 minutes about this. And I could hear my boss moving around upstairs to come down. Okay, he'll explain it better. I heard him coming down the stairs, and I had told her once again, the pulley is wrong. The belt's right, but the pulley is wrong, and that's what made the belt go bad. Okay, okay. And he come walking around the corner, and they turned around and said, so you're saying I got the wrong belt? Whenever people come out here and they tell me what another shop has told them or somebody else has told them, I'm not taking that at face value. I'm asking questions. When they said you needed this, did they say this? Because I'm trying to get to the exact words that somebody else used because it makes a big difference this is one of those things is it a misunderstanding yeah is it deliberate I don't think so but how how in the world can you be that clear and still it just whoosh, and they turn around and they, they got stuck on it. That was the first thing they said. The wrong belt. No. Bad belt. Bad belt because wrong pulley. And I repeated that several times in several different ways and then they turned around. Wrong belt. God. They'll get themselves in more trouble because they will repeat that to somebody else. They will get stuck on that one. They'll get different stuff. And it doesn't fit the other pulley. It's, it fits the AC pulley now, but it doesn't fit any of the other pulleys. And then they're back here saying, you said I needed this. No, I didn't say I, you need that. For the first time in a long time, they signed a paper. They signed their receipt saying they acknowledged what the problem was. What do you do? Best I can do is, is explain it. And at a certain point, the more you talk, the worse it's going to get because they're, they're just going to get confused and they're going to keep going back to their first inclination. So that's how things get misconstrued. That's how things get misunderstood. That's how hard feelings start. And it's a responsibility sometimes of somebody like me whenever they're told this is bad. Why? and get a story on it, kind of find out what's going on. I have done a lot of stuff because somebody wanted it done, but I still am looking for why. Why is this a problem? You know, like this truck that came in with, with starter. You need a starter. No, no, you need a starter ring and a starter. It's like you step in a deep puddle and fill your boot up. You pull your boot off dump the water out, put on a nice dry sock and then stick it back in that wet boot, your foot's going to be wet again. Well, starter ring's bad. You're going to have to do something with that starter. Or guess what? It's been running on that chewed up ring. It's chewed up the starter. The Bendix, the gear on the starter. So we're going to put a new ring in it. If you don't want that ring to get chewed up again, change the starter. It's going to be cheaper to buy a whole new starter than it is to prove a, for me to buy a Bendix and put in his old starter. It's just, you know, stuff you got to deal with. But that's my story on the, you know, committee member and why we were having such a hard time explaining ourselves because it, it wasn't getting through. And bad feelings can breed from that. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. 
talk to you later.